Hey everybody, I am here today to show you and tell you how to find speaker wire with a multimeter. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into this instructional video. As you can see right here, I have a multimeter and I have some spare speaker wire, okay? I'm gonna show you how to trace speaker wire, track it, find it, whatever you wanna call it, um, using something like this. Okay, so essentially what you want to do is you want to start off by making sure your multimeter is connected properly. You want two leads, you want a black lead and a red lead coming off of the multimeter in the correct spots, okay, as you can see right here. And you want to turn your multimeter to the continuity setting. Okay, now most likely your multimeter will have a continuity setting. On my multimeter, it's that symbol right there. That's the continuity setting. And you can see it says one. Keep that in mind, it's very important. It says one right now. Now some multimeters will also give an, a, like, a, like, a, a, like a, a sound signal when it senses, when it senses continuity. Um, this one will just change that number, okay? So essentially, it doesn't matter which of the leads you put on which side, but you wanna try and find the one, one, of, the, one of the ends of the speaker wire that you, wanna, that you wanna find, okay? So let's just say, you know, I have like 20 speaker wires coming from an area and I wanna track one specific one, okay? So let's say I wanna track this one over here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this one right here, okay? And I'm gonna place it on one of the leads. I'm just, you can get like the alligator clamps and stuff like that. I'm just gonna wrap it around the lead just like this, okay? I just poke myself. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna wrap it. You know what, that's a little bit pinchy. I'm gonna do the other one over here. So we're gonna try this one, a little bit less pinchy, okay? So I'm gonna take this speaker wire right here and I'm going to wrap it around one of the leads as you can see over here, okay? Now that I've wrapped it around that lead, Okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try and find the other speaker wire. So I'm gonna go around, and I'm gonna guess which the other speaker wire is. So let's say there's 20 different speaker wires coming out. I'm gonna go to this one, let's say, and I'm gonna try it out. And I'm gonna wrap it around the other lead and I'm gonna look if that number changes to a zero or very low number, right? Um, and as you can see, it didn't change. So this is not the correct speaker wire. So I'm gonna try another one. I'm gonna go and try this one over here. And I'm gonna wrap, and look, the moment that it touches, it changed to zero, zero, zero. And that means that I have tracked these two are connected. These have continuity. There's a continuous wire between the two leads. So these two wires that are touching the leads of the multimeter are attached and are continuous. That means that these speaker wires are connected. I have now found the speaker wire. So you can use this method. Now, I know what you're thinking. In real life, it's very rare that you're gonna have speaker wires so close together. It's gonna be running through a house, running through walls, whatever the case is. Yes, absolutely true. What you can do then is get a separate wire that you know is continuous. So you do a continuity test on a separate wire. And then, you know, one lead can touch the wire that's close to wherever you are, okay? And then for the other lead, you can, you can attach a separate continuous wire to this lead and then send it to another room, you know, really long wire. Send it to another room and then use that wire to test for continuity. Okay, you can do your own research. I mean, that's a whole separate video, but it's really just a little bit of like a workaround around it. So that's it though. That's how to find speaker wire with a multimeter. It's honestly really, really easy to do and I'm showing you exactly how to do it in this video tutorial. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more good videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.